Welcome to the Blue Lobster Bowl. Before we get started, I would like to ask the audience to not communicate with participants during this match, not write notes of any kind while in this competition room, and please turn off all calculators, video games, cell phones, PDAs, pagers, MP3 players, cameras, camcorders, and other recording devices while in this room. I'm Jeff Roberts, your moderator, MIT Class of 2002, and a People Making a Difference volunteer who's helped run this event since last year. The, event, uh, the rest of the volunteers will introduce themselves to you. Uh, rules judge is absent at the moment. Uh, scorekeeper. My name is Mertz Musiak. I'm an alum of MIT and a PMD volunteer, and this is my seventh Blue Lobster Bowl. Timekeeper. I'm Kristen Anagnast, a PMD volunteer, and this is my sixth Blue Lobster Bowl. And we don't have a science judge at the moment. Uh, I would like the coaches of both teams to come forward. Please introduce yourselves, shake hands, and sit together in the back row. Alternate team members should also come forward, introduce themselves, and sit at the back of the room during the match. Players, please buzz in, wait to be recognized, and then state your name to verify that the buzzer system is working properly, starting here on my left. Red Captain. Bill Milmo. White Captain. Lori Saruda. Okay. Please let, re let me remind you of several important rules we will be carefully observing during this match. Number one, on toss-up questions, you must be verbally recognized by me, the moderator, before replying. If you respond before being verbally recognized, your team is automatically disqualified from answering the question. The question will then be offered as a toss-up question to the opposing team. Number two, in this match, I will identify you by saying either red or white, and either player one, two, three, or captain. Number three, for toss-up questions, there can be no conferring among team members on either team at any time. If conferring occurs on the team that was initially recognized to answer the question, that team is disqualified from answering the question, and the question is offered to the opposing team. If conferring occurs or has occurred on the opposing team, it too is disqualified from answering the question. Uh, number four, challenges must be made before I begin the next question. Challenges may only come from the team members who are actively competing. Neither the alternate nor any other audience member may object. Number five, for bonus questions, you have 20 seconds after I finish reading the question to begin your answer to the question. If you fail to begin your answer before the timekeeper says time, you have missed your bonus question. You will hear the timekeeper say five seconds when you have only five seconds left to begin your answer. Number six, for bonus questions and team challenge questions, only the team's, uh, team captain's answer will be accepted. Once the team captain begins his or her answer, no further conferring or clarification may occur by other team members. Is everyone ready? Are there any questions? Scorekeeper ready? Timekeeper ready? You can begin the clock when I start reading the first question. Toss up multiple choice in Boston trivia. Who were Sacco and Vanzetti? W, a comedy team famous for many years at Boston clubs. X, a famous clothing partnership based in the Boston area. Why two Boston policemen who helped clean up Prohibition Area Boston? White Captain, interrupt. Z. Uh, Z is the correct answer. Uh, bonus for the white team only. Uh, the Z was a, a pair of Italian immigrants treated poorly by the justice system. Uh, bonus, multiple choice in Boston trivia. What crime were Sacco and Vanzetti accused of committing? W, identity theft. X, loitering on public property. Y, stealing the state, st state seal, Z, shooting a man. Five seconds. Our answer is Z. Z is correct, shooting a man. Toss up for both teams, multiple choice in Boston trivia. Bussing of Boston public school children was court ordered in 1969 by Judge W. Arthur Garrity, Jr. due to W, too few schools near children's homes. X, politically well-connected business, busing businesses who lobbied for increased business. Y, the majority of South Boston families arguing that more racial diversity would benefit their children. Z Red Captain. Y. Y is incorrect. Uh, for minus four, I will read the question in its entirety to the white team. Busing of Boston public school children was court ordered in 1969 by Judge W. Arthur Garrity, Jr. due to W. Too few schools near children's homes. X. Politically well-connected busing businesses who lobbied for increased business. Y. The majority of South Boston families arguing that more racial diversity would benefit their children. Z. Segregated public schools. White Captain. Z. 
Z is correct. Bonus question for the white team. Short answer, Boston trivia. 30 years ago, federal courts ordered race-based and affirmative action hiring goals based on the minority populations they serve for 151 police and fire departments. Which of the following statements is false? W. Chelsea, Holyoke, and Lawrence remain furthest from the court-ordered goals. X. Asians are included in the court order. Y. Departments in Cambridge and Newton have reached racial parity but still follow the consent dec decrees and hiring based on race. Z. In November 2004, federal judge ruled that the Boston Police Department could no longer follow its policy of hiring one black or Hispanic firefighter for every white firefighter because it had achieved racial parity at the entry level. Uh, y is incorrect. The correct answer is X. Asians uh, are not included. Uh, for both teams, toss up, multiple choice, Boston trivia. When was the first Thanksgiving held? W, 1620, X, 1621, Y, 1640, Z, 1641. That's an interrupt, Red Captain. Or no, it's not an interrupt, Red Captain. Six, 1620. 1620 is incorrect. White captain. X. X is correct, 1621. Uh, bonus uh, for the white team only, multiple choice in Boston trivia. Who was the Massachusetts Bay Colony governor in 1621? W, John Winthrop, X, Samuel Adams, Y, William Bradford, Z, William Weld. Five seconds. Our answer is John Winthrop. John Winthrop is incorrect. The correct answer is Y, William Bradford. Toss up for both teams. Multiple choice Boston trivia. When did the Big Dig officially receive funding and begin? W, 1982, X, 1987, Y, 1993, Z, 1995. White captain. W. W is incorrect. Red captain. X, 1987, is correct. Uh, bonus question for the red team only. Multiple choice Boston trivia. Which of the following statements is true? W, President, President Ronald Reagan approved the Big Dig along with Congress. X, Congress passed the Big Dig overriding President Ronald Reagan's veto. Y, the Big Dig tunnels are leak proof. Z, the Big Dig will be completed in 2005, not including cost recovery. Five seconds. My answer would be X. X is correct. Congress passed the big dig overriding President Ronald Reagan's veto. Toss up for both teams. Multiple choice U.S. trivia. Which U.S. president said, ask not what your country can do for interrupt white captain? John Fitzgerald Kennedy. John Fitzgerald Kennedy is correct. Bonus for the white team only. Short answer, Massachusetts trivia. Give the complete names of at least three of the four U.S. presidents born in Massachusetts. Five seconds. John Adams, John Quincy Adams, and John Fitzgerald Kennedy. The, those three are correct. The fourth is George Herbert Walker Bush. Toss up, uh, multiple choice Boston trivia for both teams. Who was Deborah Sampson, W, the state heroine who fought in the Continental Army in the War of Independence under the name of Robert Shirtliff, X, the state heroine who remained undiscovered until she was wounded in battle, Y, the first woman to be awarded a military pension from the nation, Z, all of the above? Red Captain. Z. Z is correct. All of those facts are true. Um, a bonus for the red team only, multiple choice, Massachusetts trivia. Which set does not contain official state symbols? W, Roxbury Pudding Stone, Black Capped Chickadees, American Elm, and Mayflower. X, Boston Cream Pie, Johnny Appleseed, Boston Terrier, and Tabby Cat. Y, Right Whale, Morgan Horse, Wild Turkey, and Cod. 
Z, Grape Juice, Swing Dancing, Alewife, and Plymouth Gentian. My answer is Z. Z is correct. None of those are state symbols.